Hello guys, this is Abhishek. Uh, as per our current series, today uh, we're gonna talk about the plugins in PhoneGap. Uh, before that, I would like to show you something. This is my uh, channel, YouTube channel, where you can find all my PhoneGap related video tutorials, uh, starting from uh, the first step, how we can configure PhoneGap in Windows PC. Okay. Uh, to uh, how we can uh, make the use of database via phone gap plugins okay uh, here is the list uh, of a plugin which we are going to study uh, we have completed the study uh, on the status bar plugin uh, the next plugin that is vibration and after that we're going to talk about the battery battery plugins okay so first of all I have created a project and also added the uh, vibration plugin uh, from the org.apache.cordova.vibration okay uh, here is the project and uh, one more thing that uh, you have to test this application on a real device so I have connected my real devices that is over here uh, which shows uh, the original screen of my uh, application on my uh, devices Android devices okay so here is the project which is imported and uh, also a plugin that is uh, showed in asset www folder after that the plugin this is our plugin for the vibration and uh, let's open this so we can get the little bit idea text editor okay okay now uh, the first method that is the vibrate which takes a single parameter uh, that means a simple vibration method right you have to just pass the uh, parameters integer parameters uh, that is the milliseconds values okay uh, suppose if, if you want to uh, do the vibrate uh, for the two seconds then you have to pass the 2000 milliseconds okay now and after that the second method is uh, vibrate with parameters sorry vibrate with patterns okay uh, for this you have to uh, give the start value and after that uh, how long uh, you have to uh, do the vibration for example if I want to uh, if I click on a button after clicking on a button uh, I want to start vibration after Two seconds that means the starting value is 2000 millisecond comma the second parameter is how long uh, you want to do the vibrations that means uh, suppose I want to do the vibrations around uh, five seconds then I have to second parameter that is 5000 millisecond at once you can uh, specify the starting position and uh, long duration duration of a vibration okay and the uh, last para second parameter that is uh, do you want to repeat this pattern or you want okay it's a 0 minus 1 value right and uh, if you specify the value 0 that means it will never stop the vibration you have to call the cancel vibration after that the vibration will get cancelled okay uh, to calling this plugin it's very easy so just open your index page okay I'm gonna remove this code so you can get uh, proper idea of this okay first of all I would like to add device ready event I'm running on my actual device so just click OK and here is my device 
is where for a second yeah the application is running and I got the device ready alert okay now on this alert I'm gonna just simply call navigator dot the function name the function name is as we have already seen that that is the vibrator um, this okay just use vibrator and I'm gonna assign the 2000 for a two second I want to do the vibrations okay uh, I cannot show you the vibrations so I'm just uh, taking my phone to the mic so you can uh, listen the voice of uh, vibration okay okay I hope you have uh, uh, listened the voice okay and the second thing we're gonna do the parameter okay the pattern implementation of a pattern vibration so here I'm gonna use the vibrate with pattern navigator dot vibrate with pattern so here you need to start value this is the 200 millisecond and the vibration would be 2000 after that uh, one second and vibration again 2000 and the value is minus 1 that means I want to stop it after doing this vibration so just run this application right guys uh, I think you have uh, watched uh, sorry uh, listen the vibration uh, for two times one for two seconds and um, for two seconds but uh, the duration uh, in between that is the one second okay uh, and uh, as usual this is the last method without uh, any parameter that is a cancel vibration if you want to cancel the vibration uh, just call this navigator dot cancel vibration okay uh, in between then this uh, vibration will be ca get cancelled automatically uh, this function will work if you specify a value over here okay uh, the positive value that you have to specify 0 or greater than 0 okay if you specify minus 1 or if you uh, not specify any value it uh, by default gets minus 1 okay so this is all about the vibration function in phone gap application for the second that is battery status uh, uh, we will get that into the next video so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel till then bye bye